the CIO and CTO really were, were about managing technology. But what's happening is that the market is changing. And over the next decade, we're going to see the management of technology not being the bits and bolts of, of the hardware, but more about managing the IT services that are delivered via the cloud and via managed service providers. So the CIO's role has become much less about managing the technology to about managing service and understanding and integrating that service into business. So the CIO needs to be much more of a businessman than in the past he needed to be a bit of a geek. Um, I think geek uh, CIOs, their time is pretty much over. It's really about business orientated CIOs who really understand how IT, IT services can make businesses more agile and help them to kill the competition because after all, that's what IT is for. It's about being competitive and going out there and innovating and uh, doing stuff that um, stops your competition in the tracks. Um, and we, we only have to look at people like Amazon who are about to completely wipe out the whole retail sector because of their strategy and they're leveraging it all through IT. We look at Google, who have fundamentally changed the media industry, the advertising industry, again, leveraged by IT. Um, it's not hard to look uh, in any industry and see that focusing on business and how to kill the competition using technology uh, is the right thing to do. And if, if technology hasn't entered your business yet as a major competitive threat, well, I would expect it will. So don't, don't just sit there on your hands and expect that it's all going to be okay because I promise you it won't. Some smart guy is going to think of a way of deploying technology that steals your cheese and uh, your business won't be around anymore. You really need to be right up there thinking about how to innovate and how to get a step in front of the competition. That's what CIOs are for, helping with that thinking. I've been a, a CIO, CTO for a long time, decades. And um, I have salespeople calling me all the time. Um, and there are really two kinds of salespeople. There are salespeople who are useful, and then and in my book, I've got salespeople who I call gallops. Go away, little person, okay, because you're wasting my time. All you come in here to do is to work out how you're going to get some commission. And I'm really not interested. Uh, if you want to come in and you want to talk to me, you've got to be helping me. And what the, what the book is about, really, is it's written for salespeople so that anyone who wants to come and visit me or other CIOs actually can, uh, can read and learn how to engage with a senior level IT person and actually get them to, to talk properly. So I talk about what a CIO does, um, the kind of systems that CIOs look after, the kinds of problems that CIOs have. I talk about different kinds of CIOs, um, the, uh, the paratrooper, the the, uh, the businessman, the consultant, and, um, and, and so on. So it's really about shaping what a CIO's life is about, but written as a, uh, as a help for salespeople. And why did it happen? I was asked by a friend of mine in the US to give a talk to a whole bunch of sales guys about what's, what stupid things salespeople do. And uh, it was, apparently it was very amusing. And um, I, it was videoed and uh, the video got turned into a script and it looked like a book. So I took the script and turned it into a book and put it up on Amazon. 